I'm back and I'm going to go straight for Bucky and uh, this is it. Bucky. Yana, Yana, Yana. Yana, Yana. <laughs> What's good, bro? What's good? Uh, everything good, you know. You know what I mean? I thank God, you know, for having me here talking to you guys and talking to the whole Liberian. I know, I know. But um, what's popping? You know, Sean, it's Bucky Ball, man. I'm here, you know what I'm saying? The Bucky or Pong? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the music yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already know. Yeah, my man. Know. But you know, the, 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 the man, you have to say, if you see Jenna there. Nah, nah, I don't see Jenna there. You do, we are working in music, Jenna, yeah? <laughs> My man, I'm happy to have you, man. This is a really, you know, good opportunity. It's a really good occasion. I'm happy to have you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to, for even talking to you and for you host. You know what I'm saying? I'm very happy and I appreciate it. Yeah, sure. And uh, on behalf of my team, you know, my boy DJ Beza and myself, we want to say, um, you know, welcome to the platform. We hope to have you more than once. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So what's good? What's happening? What's happening with the rapping George We are what's popping, my man? Uh rapping George Weah, you know, he cool. Um just getting some family issues situated and things like that. You know, I'm just trying to um take it a little easy, get some time, get some rest before, you know, Bucky O'Punk really come back in full effect. That's all. True, I get it. When you say you need some time off, I get it. Like, you know, people need to breathe. People yeah, really you know, need. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I need to get a little time, get my head right. You know what I mean? I'm just coming from that type of situation. So, you know, I have to get my mind right for my family, for my fans. You know what I mean? So I can produce good music at the end of the day. Yeah, my well, man. But, um, Charles, I know. You sound, you, sound, you sound wonderful this morning. You heard him. He said you sound wonderful. Yeah, thank you very, thank you very much. You know, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, okay. But well, I know you've been writing something for us. Also. I've been writing well, music. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, my man. Give us some more kolo kwa ba. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Shout out. So all the people working God said they say I got deported with one try said. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky, Bucky, Bucky. <laughs> My man, take it off of me again, I beg you. Uh, yeah. Shout out to all the people working God said they say I got deported with one try said. Hey. Shout out to the beat up all the running chiche bully, the mommy, the bow and shut it. <laughs> shout out. Definitely, you heard him. God brought him back here, and this is his homeland. He's happy to be here because it's an opportunity. All right, and that's the spirit. I think that's what we all need to get for ourselves. All right, if you learn to make the most out of your situation, obviously that's you going heights because you realize that you know you are where you need to be. It's just you. Um, um it's just love with you to make it a, a good thing for you or a bad thing. All right. But uh, before I ask you any other question, Bucky, I just like to read you know what you posted on your on your Facebook yesterday when you had the time to use the internet. He said. My apologies goes out uh, to all the females that listen to my music. 
To my son and daughter, I'm sorry as well. My past life caught up with me. I don't blame anyone but myself. Last but not the least, d raw that's supposed to be his fiance. I'm sorry for putting you through the situation. The nights and days you cried on the phone will not go in vain. I just want you to know I love you and I'm sorry. Only we both know the true story until I can express myself on my interview. Let them assume. Okay, we have the interview, Bucky, and um, I have this one big question for you, all right? This is the question that everybody... um. All of all of us, you know, including myself, we want to have um, some clarity too. And of course, like I said earlier, every situation that comes to you is left with you to make the most out of it. So I even want us to go back and forth, you know, with all the explaining and everything. Um, were you deported? Um, yes, I was. Okay. Yeah, I was. Um, I was deported. Uh, I was deported a couple of days ago. You know, what I mean, during the week. And whatever, yes, I was deported. And um, I actually, when I got the, when I was when I was deported, it was nothing. Uh, it was nothing bad, you know. Like not 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 everybody that get deported means they did a crime and things like that. You know what I mean? That's what one thing um our Liberians need to understand. Okay. And um, as far as uh people getting deported, other other countries they accept their um people that's coming back home rather than getting deported or they're coming free will. You know, so like, our Liberians, I think they really need to understand like what's going on around the world. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of um, political issues and things like that. Like, they should accept their people. The people coming back, don't judge them. Okay. You know, and we, we from here, you know what I'm saying? So if you, somebody come in, you make them feel not wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 a, it's a big thing and to make people discouraged. True. You know? Like, you know, but I'm strong. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just speaking for the ones that are not strong and that's going to be in that position because I'm not the first and I'm not the last. True. True. Yeah. And true. You know, when Bucky says he's not the first and he's not the last, you know, this is not us trying to down talk anybody, you know, or degrade nobody or defame people. But Bucky is not the first person if he says he's not the first person. We all know the stories, right? <laughs> yeah, we know we all people. know the stories. No disrespect, you know, like DJ Blue is my big brother, but it's something that everybody knows. DJ Blue got deported as well. Way back. Yes. <laughs> for, you know, similar thing. And uh, DJ Blue, um, I mean, with uh, the Graven Seekers or whatever it was, that, that Lucky, gang. Lucky Bucky. Lucky Bucky. Lucky Bucky. Lucky Bucky. Lucky Bucky. So. Pretty much. A lot of people got deported. So if he says this is his situation and he does not take it as a back blow to him, in fact, he is not de he's not deterred. He's, 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 he's a strong person. He's a strong person. Nice. Of course, it takes a lot of courage to come out and, you know, be able to tell people, yes, I was deported and I'm here in my country. This is my homeland. All right. So that's, I think that's a lot. And uh, for that, Bucky, I must say, you know, big up to you, bro. You don't have to feel discouraged. This is where we all belong, right? Yeah, exactly. No, I'm not discouraged at all. I'm not even gonna lie to you, uh, you know, um shout out to the uh to the female that was at the airport over there. I forget her name, you know what I'm saying? She uh she let me use her phone to contact my family, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Things like that to get picked up and uh she really didn't have to do it but she was really nice and she welcomed she welcomed all of us, you know what I mean? She's like, Yo, welcome, this your country, you know what I mean? You don't have to feel no type of way and things like that, you know what I mean? She was very nice, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Like, I think the fellas, they need to, you know what I'm saying, learn from that. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm saying. Okay, and uh, we have read like a lot of um, appealing and apologetic statements and comments from you and your team. Of course, I just read it here, but what do you have to say about, you know, about that now that you're on the radio and everybody is listening, listening. the entire country, I'm, I know the entire world, Liberia, we're locked down. What do you have to say to that? No, I have to say, um, me, uh, I'm, I'm apologizing because, you know, that's something I have to do. And, um, you know, I take, I take all the blame. You know, I can't blame nobody else. Nobody did anything to me. Nobody forced me to do anything. It's me. You know what I mean? My character, you know what I'm saying, got out of hand. I was wrong for how my life was painted out to the uh, media, you know. Okay. And I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to my female um, fans that listen to my music. And things like that because i know he felt devastated you know what i'm saying at the end of the day so i'm just i just want to apologize to them i want them to you know feel my pain and feel everything that i'm going through and know that i'm not that type of person you know uh the media just takes things and blow it out of proportion and you know i'm have you looking real bad but you know domestic violence is not something i'm proud of it's not something you know what i mean i want to do or to say other people are doing stuff like that because I have uh, sisters, you know what I'm saying? And I True. have a late mother, that, late mother that passed away and things like that. If, uh, 
anybody put their hands on them, I'll feel some type of way. So please, you know, forgive me for whatever that's out there in the media. I've, I've been painted wrong and things like that. Like, I'm talking to the females. I'm sorry, your whole line is coming from deep down in my heart. And to my kids, I'm sorry to my son. You know what I mean? He's very talented and whatever. Um, you know, you can check him out. His name is Young King Sosa. You know what I mean? He's the next upcoming kid. He's doing his thing. You know what I mean? He's very talented. And, um, you know, I'm hurting right now for even leaving him in that type of position. True. You know, so they got to know, you know what I mean? It's a lot that I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm a family man first. So, like, with uh, domestic violence, I'm, I'm totally against that. You know what I'm saying? I have a baby girl, Kay. You know what I mean? She means the world to me. Okay. So, you know, I'm very sorry for anything, you know what I'm saying, that happened, that have any female that listen to my music feel any type of way about me, you know, please forgive me. You know, I have a baby girl named Cass, and she's beautiful. Okay, that's good. Um, You know, this is great. Some people will not say, oh, I am, you know, will not say, please forgive me for what I have done. Like, I know people, matter of fact, Liberian people as a, as a whole, I'm a Liberian. I don't have to say sorry for Tina, what I don't do. Because I feel like if I say sorry, it puts me in, the, in a demeaning position where people can step on me at any time and say, okay, yeah, you are major to what you have done. So, okay, that's that. But I think you're a very courageous young man, Paki, and that's amazing. But what, what, what have you learned from all that has happened? What, what have you learned? Um, what I've learned is... Uh humble you know this situation humbled me a whole lot you know what i mean um before i was you know what i mean i can't say i was humble i, was, I mean i was really don't know people that know me is tell me oh you humble and things like that but god put me in a situation so i can be more humble and um try to face the next thing that's coming on in my life because like you know there's a lot of things that go on with me you know what i'm saying and i try to stay strong as possible you know what I mean? Because even with me coming, being deported okay. to, La, to Liberia, like, a few days later, my aunt, my aunt passed away. My mother's little sister passed away. So, I'm dealing with a whole lot. Okay. You know? And that's why I just, I'm learning to just be humble, you know what I'm saying? And be a man at the end of the day, whatever situation happened, turning out to be a good one. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm deported, right? But mm -hmm. it's cool. Because... I make deportation, okay, it's, it's cool with me, you know what I mean, I'm going to make it, I'm, I'm going to make it something cool, so people don't have to feel ashamed about it, True. you know what I mean, and I'm, not, and I'm not ashamed about anything, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm an open person, that's one thing I am, oh, I'm not ashamed about anything, I'm just sorry for my actions, you know what I mean, and I learned from this whole thing, just to be patient, you know what I'm saying, respect yeah. other people, respect other people's views, and I mean, be much more humble in situations that come your way, and okay. so that's what I learned. True, true, true. That's 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 great. And um, you know, um I think that's that that does it for the entire, you know, controversy that has been um you know, surrounding your coming back to coming Liberia. Back to Matter of fact, I think you know, the whole coming back thing based on you know, I, I just think um it's because of the situation that it's been surrounded by. But Bucky intended to come to Liberia in December, right? Yes. Yeah, I was intending to come to Liberia in December, but I might even go I might even go sit here and um, you know, and try to soften it up, but Okay, are you there, Bucky? Bucky. Okay, we're gonna get him back uh, to continue this. Uh, we're gonna get him back to continue this, but um, all you have to do is stay tuned, all right? We're gonna get him back to continue this. But you hear, you 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 heard it from him, right, Besa? Is is a good thing that a young man as himself who's barely um, okay, he's back. Let's take him, uh, Bucky. Hello? Yes, yes, I have you. Welcome back. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, uh, like I was telling you, uh, I, I had, a, you know what I mean? God put it in me, you know what I'm saying? I had a feeling I was coming, but I didn't know how I was coming. I, I, I didn't want to come this way, but, you know, God made it possible, so I came this way just the way he wanted me to come. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm here. Yeah, you're here. And honestly, we um, music lovers in Liberia, we, um, you know, lovers of good songs and uh, bars and all of that. We're happy to have you back, man. Like, we know it's about to be a whole big thing right here. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, so um, what what are we what are we what are we up to? Do we expect anything? Because mind you, it's not just me. There are several other people who are Bucky Rob fans, and you know they're looking out. I know that first concert is gonna be a bomb, but when is it gonna be? Um, the concert, I, 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 right now, I don't have no date on it, but 
you know, uh, I don't know. It could probably be on the 26th. I don't know. It could probably be whenever. You know what I'm saying? But definitely my manager is in works. You know what I'm saying? My brand King George is in works and uh, putting things together. And, you know, it's going to be, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be something very, very interesting and spectacular for the fans in Liberia, though. True. It's going to be the biggest concert of the year. <laughs> definitely. Just know. Yeah, yeah, me in. Cause you know, I know y'all be watching my my shows in a while in the states. Just know, you know what I mean. When I get on that stage, too much energy. Too much energy. Yeah, too much energy. <laughs> so when it comes, just know y'all get it. Cause oh y'all, well, well in the states y'all say y'all want pump tire and this and that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell a pump tire. Uh, yeah, I in the air now. So when the show come, y'all gotta show up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all show up. Your show, there's going to be nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? That homecoming show is going to be nothing but love, so y'all just get ready. It's going to be something real big. Okay. We said the 26. He's talking he, about. He said he does not have a time, you know, right now, but it but might he be. Just mentioned 26. Yeah, he said it might be the 26. So it could be May 26. It could be, yeah. you know, June 26, July 26, July 26, or whatever. But we just keep our fingers crossed and uh, we hope we can, you know, party and pump time real soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, I still have a question about the um, Soda Mixtape, the Mixtape album, you know? Right, right. Thumb Issue, A, hey, Issue, you know that song, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I listened to a few songs from the Mixtape, but I don't know, the, you know, what's what's going on? Oh, uh, the Mixtape, um, everything good with it, you know what I'm saying? That was uh, the first country soda, you know, um, I put that together. Uh, thanks to my uh, engineer, uh, Starks Vader. He's an artist also, a good producer, good engineer, you know what I'm saying? Um, we put that together, and you know, it came out like that, and I released it, and people loved it, you know? And uh, right now, as uh, you speak, uh, my engineer, Vader, you know what I mean? He's trying, he trying to travel just so we can finish up Country Soda 2. Okay. You know, because uh, part two was, I was about to release part two before... Um, you know, my situation came up with, um, with law, law enforcement. Okay. But, you know, I'm going back to it to um, put some things together, you know, change it up a little bit so I can release it. Okay, okay, that's good. But um, in general, what's the future for for Bucky Raw Music? You know, um, CSE, Child Soldier Entertainment. We need to know what's the future for Child Soldier Entertainment. And we need some little enlightenment, all right? Because in Liberia here, we we just been here, and um, people will say, oh, Child Soldier, Child Soldier Entertainment. I, don't, I really don't get the idea. So what's what's it all about, and what's the future for Child Soldier Entertainment? The future of uh, Child Soldier Entertainment is basically, you know, with me, um, I left from this country at a young age, you know, and um, when I left, you know, the things that I was witnessing wasn't so good and things like that as far as with the kids and um, people going to war and things like that. So when I, uh, when I got to the stage and I'm doing my music, I told myself I'm going to name my company Child Soldier Entertainment. Okay. You know what I mean? it's, it's entertainment for kids that been through hard times. Child Soldier don't mean you have to be a kid with a gun, you know. True. You could be you could be a child that went through a lot of struggle and pain and you came up, you know what I mean, you still breathing and, and you still doing what you have to do. Okay. I mean that's why that's why I call a child soldier. And it goes out to every kid out there that go through a struggle coming up in their life. That's why I name it Child Soldier Entertainment. Me and my uh older brother Alvin. Okay, so what's the future for Child Soldier? The true future for Child Soldier Entertainment, you know what I mean, we are we just wanna work with people in the country and things like that um put together some uh, good organizations for the kids and whatever non-profitable organizations you know what i mean get the kids more involved you know what i mean as far as learning performing arts and things like that you know what i mean that's what we really trying to do in the tech because there's a lot of talent in liberia believe it or not you know what i'm saying these kids they just need somebody to guide them the, the right way and lead them through everything you know what i'm saying they can have sure. it the same thing they do in the states, you know what I'm saying? They go after the kids and um, they watch after them and, you know what I mean, put them in school, they need to be put in and put them in certain, you know what I'm saying, um, certain schools. So that's what, that's what we're trying to do okay. for the future. And we got music coming, we got a lot of music coming up, you know what I mean? And we're open to work with anybody, you know what I mean? Child Soldier Entertainment, we're here to uh, make my bear better. Okay. You know we're, here to make the, we're here to make the music great. You know okay. What I mean? Like when people say West Africa, they think about Liberia, you know what I'm saying? True. I think that's why God brought me here, and that's why that's going to be my purpose. 
True. True. We ain't doing nothing fishy. We ain't doing nothing fishy. I'm here now, so we gonna make we gonna set the standards real high. You hear me? Yeah. And I think everything happened for a recent race. So. Yes, true. <laughs> okay, so um, what in the street is that you're back here to make it Tuesday? Nobody coming beyond PC level because you're back here to put fire in the fire. You know what I mean? So um, you know what's 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 your say to your boy here? Because you know we have other good artists here. We have our boys, our Christoph, of course, CRC. We have Scientific. We have a, a lot of good rappers. Elo, Nucci, Meek. A lot of good rappers, you know, but the minute there are fans and other people talking, say, hmm, we're Bucky Run, I can will not be easy, you know. So, what do you have to say to them? No, it's uh, you shouldn't even think like that. It's all love, you know, like we all be all Liberians, you know what I mean? We that's one thing about us, you know what I mean, with the comparisons and uh, mm-hmm. fighting, amongst, fighting amongst each other. That's why, like, our things don't prosper like that because you know, you watch DC, these Ghanaian artists, um, Nigerian artists. And whatever they are, they stick together and they work. You know what I'm saying? And, and build their country and build their brand. That's, okay. what, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Because like we can sit here and argue all day, but at the end of the day, nobody going nowhere. And these people are pessimists. You know what I mean? That's what that's what we need to stop. True. All that comparing this person. No, everybody is good in their own way. You know what I'm saying? I got my style. The other person got a style. And that's that's how it goes. So True. And when you bring all of those styles together, it's a whole good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. So we shouldn't be old, this person. Nah, we don't do that. That's, that goes back to what I was saying. Like, probably two again deported and um, people making them feel discouraged. Nah, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, you know, praise the person. Let the person keep doing what they do. Because at the end of the day, our faith go on TV. Our faith go across the country, across True. the world. Is is our country we putting on the map. You okay. know what I mean? We putting our country on the map. So everybody is cool i don't have no problem with anybody you know what i'm saying much love to all the artists that are doing their thing uh continue doing your thing you know we here and i'm um, ready to make good music collabs and things like that that's what we're trying to do we're not here to discourage anybody or make them feel less of a person about their talent or the this guy has given them. true okay so when does uh tim bucky expect uh the next song because we've been playing all you know, the other ones then temptation you know we had to speak for the people that want to get more and stuff like that but when do we expect our next song because we want to vibe bro yeah i don't to be real with you i don't like i can't put no time or day on it me i'm a person like i can wake up today and be like yo i know what release this i can get off the phone with you right now but like you know what I feel like doing the freestyle. I like just post it up. I don't know. Like that's how I am. I don't. I don't put no time or anything. Like I don't. I don't schedule. Only time I schedule is my man just schedule and do a show. I just do it. I don't. I don't put no time or anything okay okay that's what's up uh, yeah maybe we're about to um you know let you go um but let's take let's take another freestyle enjoy our first one but let's let's jump in again right? uh, you, you try. I'm trying to strip everything out for you, Bug. Let's drop it. <laughs> you, you, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to, uh, you trying to kill me over here. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Uh, but anyway, I'll still be uh, with the with the same one. You hear me? Okay. All right. Like I said, shout out to all the people working. God said this year I got deported with one trusty. Shout out to the beef I bought it running kitchen pulley that more on me that boho and shit to shout out. To the people what's here, I got GK, I leave my bread with no C5 to buy me by. Shout out to all my real true fans. The one will pray for me and understand. Shout out to my trappers. We using glass pots to manufacture. My homies in immigration that was cooking noodles with mackerel. My Southwest Africans, Will and Green and Pasco. My put I got Toto and Gaya I got Toto. Shout out my Traco man Shout out the Hickle man in. Time what I dance with friend and break dancing and cripple man in. Fresh little rope that was shot more like an open cannon. Hey. All the hoods that I've been in. Hustle spots that's a bed in. Hey. Smokers that still be man in that work without paying and renting. Hey. Rest in peace, Dr. Pate. Rest in peace, Dr. Patrick. I know in heaven, I'm so so white, we for y'all to drop it. Shout out Alfonso, my GB water inside his market. The big girl, you went to her session, she put Talking, telling you about her egg and bread, but not when you yourself should be hate. I rise above it. I'm really loved by the public, so I'm doing y'all a favor. Shout out to all my haters. Telling you about, <laughs> telling you about egg and bread, but you don't want to eat <laughs> But my man, you dope, man. You dope. Yeah, thank you very much. And um, I appreciate you having me on the show. And um, shout out to Liberia. Uh, shout out to everybody in Liberia. Shout out to the kids that's going to school. You know, one thing I, that made me feel real good. Out of everything, I was I was feeling lower down. Nah, tell us. 
yeah, when I got uh, when I got picked up and I was coming to my destination, what was so beautiful to me was the kids in their school uniforms going to school and things like that. I really liked that. Okay. Yeah, I really liked that. I felt I felt at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's better out here though. It's better than ever before. Yeah, everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? Everything is cool. I like it. Yeah, me yeah. Yeah, 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 I got this one question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I still have this one question before I let you go. Um, what do you say to the whole trap cooking thing? The man said, "Are you the trap cooking?" What do you say to that? Nah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not a king, man. I'm just, I'm just doing music for um everybody to do. It's not about no king or anything or who better than who. You know what I'm saying? Just okay. Be, be the best at what you do. That's all. You know what I'm saying? That's True. what it is. I'm not. I'm not no king. I'm just a rapper. Yeah, if you want to argue me about something, I say I'm rapping with point. Yeah, you can argue me about that. You can that. argue that one. I'm not no okay. king. I'm not a okay, king. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the George Weir in this rap fish. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. The rapper George Weir. Yeah, yeah. Alright, bro. Okay, that's what's up. Yana, yana. Yana, yana. Yana, yana. Yana, yana. Okay, 0770 Let's take um, who we have on the line. Hello? My celebrity called Originally Maya. Yes. Uh, oh, DJ, DJ Weezy. Weezy. What's good, bro? What, what's up? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, good to be on your platform. What's up, Isa? How you guys doing? We're Fine. good. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I've been following the show. Thank you so much for the show. And I'd just like to add my voice to Bucky. You know, Bucky said it all. Uh, not his wood and telling uh, people I'm sorry. I think. I think uh, Walker do not owe anybody explanation for the record. Uh, it happens in life; people do make mistakes, and it's, as you as you guys rightly said, he's not the first person, uh, neither the last person. Uh, so uh, I don't think that people should use a Walker situation to be a celebration match. Uh, I think uh, this is Walker home. Uh, this is where Walker uh, belongs. True. Uh, I think what what is important uh, his management team as you. Uh, because he has changed environment, so his management thing to strategize in order to push Bucky career to another level. But I think I, I, I think the fear, the fear has been coming from no disrespect to one of the rappers in the city. But I think uh, I think rappers are now uh, trying to uh, trying to see that they are about to fall into hard zone around here. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, the the, the, the president of of Bucky in our own entertainment booth, especially back home. Uh, Okay, it's not yet to make rap on lazy. I can put my neck on the chapter. You may say, not yet to be fizzy. Yeah, man, I gotta be too so, And the good thing about it, uh, Bucky is that I have already realized it for he has overcome it so uh to see Bucky, Bucky that people should rather watch it for Bucky and I'm positive to show you just be happy to be too. So grapple to the whole thing, Bucky Rogers just go, uh, you know, your face just touch your touch, man. So True. your management thing just needs to work harder. And push your career. You need to run it through them, man. I am busy. Yeah, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, DJ Wizzy, thank you so much for participating. We're gonna take Kevin Demi right now. Um, good morning. Okay. I'm about to drop another bombshell. Okay. Today, today will be musically political. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, is 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 Bucky Raw there? He's here. He's here. But he says he's gonna reply after all of it. Okay, Bucky, what's up? Welcome back to Liberia. And let me say this, Bucky is not the first person, he's not going to be the last person. In addition, we, the Nimbians, let me say this, we are going to do everything to protect our treasure. <laughs> I'm saying this, we are going to do everything, we are going to do everything to protect our treasure. People protected warlords in this country, they voted for warlords, they supported warlords. This man is not a warlord. Even if you were a child soldier, what's the big deal? Do you understand what I'm saying? The Bible says there's a time, a reason, and a season to everything. True. And very soon we will get to know why was Bucky back. So Bucky should not get worried about anything like uh, the last caller said. The caller before me, he said something that intrigued me and what it meant was that 
people have to get busy. Let me tell you something recently. We don't have full entertainment in our country. And maybe there's one of the reasons why Bucky is back. And you were absolutely correct. Defeat in life, let me say this to Bucky, defeat in life should never serve as, as a source of disencouragement, but it should rather stimulate you. True. There are others who came with, with just their trousers and their t-shirts, and now they are employers. Exactly. So what about you? What about you? So there should be no big deal about your coming back. You weren't sent back to any other country, you were sent back to your own country. It is time now for you to type into your own resources. You have to work build alliances and let's see how you can get this thing up to the top and make like you a better country. Again, welcome back, my Ninda brother, and I will do personally everything to support you. True. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Kelvin Demo. We have our boy, um, that's uh, Buaka Kamara, who is also a big supporter of Liberian Entertainment on the line. Good morning, Buaka. Yeah, good morning, Raceling, and good morning, uh, beautiful. Okay, bro, go Let's ahead, you, bro. Yeah, uh, I much appreciate you guys for the interview with Bucky. I, I monitor from uh, I monitor from the start to the end. And uh, what caught my attention was, um, you know, uh, wrestling. He sounded so uh, apologetic to his fans, uh, most especially the women. And I must say uh, a big one, big, uh, bigger thanks to him for sounding so apologetic to the fans, most especially the female are listening to his songs and those all, let me say, all the women he offended and all those uh, that thought that he couldn't be that special person. Now he's sounding so great back home. And then, um, the first concept I must admit to you, uh, recently, is going to be a bomb Definitely. in the country because people are waiting to see Bucky Raw. A lot of fans been wishing to see him, not like coming home as a deportee, but just coming back home to his mother. As a Liberian. As a Liberian, is going to uh, 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 send a message out there like, no matter what the situation you are in, your country will never let you down. So thank you guys so much for the show. Okay, Thanks thank you. So that much, was bro. Waka Kamar, one of our, you know, p p prominent uh, promoters of Liberian Entertainment. Now let's take Mr. Louis Owen McCarthy, the manager of Sweet Muslim Miles and uh, Anitram. Let's go. Uh, good morning, Mr. McCarthy. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good morning. We're fine. Thank you. You're live. Please go ahead. Yeah, um, I want to work first of all, work on um, Brock back to right here. Okay. I don't want to have the discussion, or I don't want to be a part of the discussion of any uh, immigration issue because that's that's not the issue, that's his personal business. True. Um, I think um, he coming back to like here, and like, uh, I see that to be a player being transferred from one league to another. True. And um, the league in Liberia, um, artists in Liberia should see it as an opportunity because he's an asset. He's not a liability. So um, we hope that we will not bring, you know, uh, decision into this whole conversation and we will wrap our hand around him to um, explore um, his, that's it, the talent that is in him and make it a part of our process. True. Remember, he's coming from a very organized uh, uh, team. team. I know his team very well. Um, artists in Liberia should be, uh, should tap into the resources of Bucket and try to at least benefit from it. Once again, Bucket, I mean, I welcome you to Liberia. I say, um, let us work. Let us see this, see this particular game moving forward. Unfortunately, some of us will not be um, too involved in it, but whatsoever way we can be a part of the process, you know, just hit the line and it happen. Well, true. That was Mr. Louis McCarthy, current manager of um, Sweet Muslim Miles and Martin Amboyo, of course, making his point there, uh, pointing out to us that being back home does not mean the end to a person's life. All right, let's take Lendis Komosi, also a big promoter of Liberian Entertainment, right here on the phone. Hello, Lendis. Uh, good morning. It's good to be on your platform. I don't know if you can hear me, you know. And also to uh, DJ Beza. Okay, bro, you're live. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you a lot. Uh, I think we left out one of the questions that, that need to be directed to Bokiro, right? Okay. Uh, he spoke about domestic violence. We want to know why, you know, he said he was deported, he already said it. Why was he deported? He did say that. He did say it. Uh, he did say it. He did say it. He did say, he said, he said he had other things that he was involved with as a young person, and then his domestic violence uh, case had to reach up everything. He did mention that. Okay, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you, Lendis. Okay, let's go to the phone line. Take at least two persons to be gone. Hello? Yo, what's up? I'm fine. See you have good Liberian songs. What's up, my brother? Definitely. I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Shout out to DJ Bezal. Let me say, uh, what's that? Body Roy, you know? Body Roy is a real captain in this game, you see? Because he's kind of like staying positive or in all his ways. You know? Even though he was deported or demoted, while the case is the Body Roy, stay, stay positive, you know, trying to contribute. And he's like kind of so courageous. And let me just say, because to Body Roy, you know, and let me tell you for free, the guy is saying, whether you are staying in America, you still have things in Liberia. And you know, and we can't just wait for that country that Buggy Roy is talking about. So, let us just keep on the courage and uh, with God help Buggy Roy with Buggy Roy will definitely be what God wants him to be. True. You know, so because that is the biggest platform, you know, in you know, like when it comes to entertainment shows. So, uh, yeah, you know, you can just imagine this entertainment care when he makes the interview. So, because so you raise a shout out to TJ Beza. Okay, bro. So much, and uh, maybe I should just read this because this is somebody who has been promoting Liberian entertainment from from scratch uh, since he became involved. I should read this. Uh, to, he says, um, Bucky. Hey, Bucky, bro. Great things never come from comfort zones. It does not matter how many times you get knocked down, but how many times you get up, never, never, never give up. You never fail until you stop trying. Success belongs only to those who are willing to work harder than anyone else. I urge you never to give up. Let your situation become your motivation. You're going to make this. Just believe. And it comes in from our boss, Sales. Of course, you know that uh, Prolific, Prolific is a poet, <laughs> and he's been doing it for us all the time. So thank you very much for those words of um, you know, encouragement to our boy Bucky. And of course, I want to say big, 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 big shout out to um, Crowder Boy CIC. He's been one person who's been with the start and end of this entire thing, you know, leaving messages, of course, for Buck and, you know. But yeah, thanks to all of you who called in and everybody who wished that I had go live with the program. We could not because... Um, this is a phone in i wrote it yesterday but obviously people don't pay attention to that we're sorry we could not go live because it's a phone in the person is calling us the person is not here physically of course he's gonna be here very soon but it's you know after all of these things that are happening he's a person he needs time to himself okay like every other person would need time to themselves after a situation like this so he's gonna be here definitely don't even tune don't even turn to when i hear the men i think see me and pizza i already know <laughs> but uh today was a phone in and um so we could not go live i'm sorry but i thank you for all of your support towards bucky and towards myself of course his management has been really welcoming to me since bucky went to you know praising they've been that uh, connected and we've been talking and trying to find ways to make it better so many thanks to you a big thanks also to um victor george who is a stoner's manager who's been working and keeping it real big thanks to you victor you've been working on your artists and also helping bucky with his manager and working on everything many thanks to you bucky this is time to pay attention to your life and correct your mistakes from the past all right but this is entertainment curves yeah this is where we build where we motivate inspire and promote this is entertainment girls we're gonna come to you again on saturday um to give you a very very big very 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 big um program you don't want to miss it saturday we're bringing everybody together okay my name is rick slim myers and i'm teacher place how to teach it i can teach huh? okay for your pasta <laughs> of course you know we're gonna be here so we love you do have a wonderful time thank you for your support to all of you that called in we appreciate you a lot thank you so much thank you very very much we leave you with this uh, song by bucky of course i'm supposed to leave with the you know our team song but we leave you with this song by bucky it's called temptation and this is where he says he wants to be the mouthpiece for the people that can speak for themselves which is a very good thing this is temptation of course this is bucky Roy. thank you <laughs>